today we're going to talk about my ombre hair. I know it's been a long time since I've had it and you guys are probably wondering like, oh my gosh, when is she going to talk about her hair? But today is the day that I'm going to talk about my hair. I haven't posted a hair video with this hair color, so I'm going to talk about it today and how I maintain it and how I actually get this look. So in October, I dyed my hair ombre. Um, I used to have like a light brown, chestnutty um, brown color with blonde highlights. But in the beginning of October, I dyed it ombre. So what ombre means is like a gradient type of hair. It's darker to lighter. Um, some people do have lighter to darker, but um, most of the ombre new trend is darker to lighter. My hair girl, Diana, which I will link below, um, dyed my hair ombre. I do have a vlog up that day, so I'll link that um, probably in the annotations right above me. But anyway, so I changed my hair and the reason why I decided to do ombre was because I was going to the hair salon every month and I was going literally every three to four weeks, dyeing my roots, dyeing my hair, processing my hair a lot. And it was really damaging my hair and I wanted to change. Some people might think the ombre is like so two years ago, but the ombre now is like totally different. It's a lot more blended. It's a lot more... Um, like it involves more highlights starting from here. It's not just like black to blonde, you know, like the first ombre that came out was like super dramatic. Mine is pretty dramatic, but I do have highlights to blend um, my hair in. But the reason why my hair is like super dramatic looking is I kind of create it through extensions. So all of this is not my hair. And if you want to see how I do it, please keep watching this video. So how I create this super dramatic look is not just because I have the ombre dye, it's because I do add extra extensions. And the extensions that I wear are the Dirty Blonde 22 220 grams Bellamy hair. And I add these extensions because it makes my hair super voluminous, my curls look better, and you can actually see more of a contrast in my hair. And if you girls at home do not have ombre hair, you could actually create this ombre look with your solid hair color like that you have now and then just add the extensions under. So basically what I do is I make my ombre even more dramatic with the Dirty Blonde extensions. So this is what my hair looks like without the extensions. I know I look kind of like bald or whatever, or like bare because I usually have it like super huge. But this is what it looks like. Um, it's fine. Like I do rock it like this too sometimes, but I do add my extensions most of the time because it is cute, it is glamorous, and that is my style. The way um, Diana, which is my hair girl, did my hair was she added the bleach at the bottom and then she pulled the hair upwards so it all blends together. And she did dye um, my root. A darker brown and then she added some highlights but ever since I got the ombre even though it does look more high maintenance it's actually lower maintenance and it is crazy because it does look more glamorous and I'm so glad I changed my hair to ombre I'm really happy with this choice and ombre really changed my life so if you guys want to do ombre hair I totally 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 recommend it and if you want to create like the ombre look I can show you this tutorial. You don't have to have ombre hair. So moving on to the tutorial, um, basically you need your Bellamy extensions. I have a bajillion pieces that I put in. Actually, it is not just one pack. It is like one and a half packs because I am crazy and I love a lot of hair. So what I do is I start actually with um, the lower end, which is like the very bottom. So if you could see the inside of my hair, it's like dark in here and then light at the bottom. So I'm going to take my smaller pieces with three clips. And basically what I do is I take a comb, kind of brush out the bottom, just like lift up the top, top half. Like it's just kind of like this. Just have like a little bit at the bottom and then I pretty much just clip in the bottom piece on my head. It's really easy. It's really, really simple. And if you don't have ombre hair too, you can just like do the same thing that I'm doing right here. Um, and it'll kind of like blend in because basically what you're doing is you're still hiding like the beginning of the extension with your true hair color. So 
my hair is actually darker inside even if it is ombre and then the tips are blonde. I'm going to take the same size piece and put it right above it. So I do the same thing, take my comb, kind of separate the hair, and I just kind of add the clip. right in my hair right above it and I did the same thing it's like super easy you just clip it in in the inside I'm gonna actually take the two um, clip piece and I'm actually gonna put that like right under the two three piece three clip pieces so I'm gonna take my comb lift up my hair take the very bottom pieces that I have comb it under and then just clip it right in here. Okay. So voila. I only have three pieces in right now and it's fine to rock it like this. If you kind of like that kind of big at the top and then smaller at the bottom look, um, you can just leave it with like three or four pieces, just like a few. But I like to keep it like ba boom because that's what I like. So I'm actually gonna put like all of these pieces in. So so far we have three pieces. I have like even bigger pieces. One more three clip piece, which I'm going to put right above the other three clip pieces. And then I have two four clip pieces. And then I have another two clip piece. So I'm just going to take and just put all of them in it. You just have to make sure they're all like kind of hidden inside. And again, like with the ombre hair, you you just want to make sure that the color that you're using matches the tips. Mine actually doesn't like really match because my real hair tip is blonde, but it's like a little golden and it's a little bit darker than the dirty blonde, which is like more like a whitish blonde. So even if it's not the same, it kind of blends in together because ombre is supposed to be like darker to lighter, like a gradient. So that's why I feel like these extensions kind of make my ombre a little bit more dramatic. And some people, you know, they actually do sell like ombre extensions, but I actually don't need it and I kind of like like it looking like this. I kind of like that but sometimes that my blonde shows through and it kind of looks like a streak. So. You can create this look with your ombre hair at home, or if you have a solid color hairdo, you can create ombre. I believe that if I had a dark hair color right now and I added kind of like a lighter, um, maybe like a chestnut brown or even like a dark, um, like ash blonde, I can create like an ombre look. Like I feel like even if you guys didn't have the ombre hairstyle, you can still rock it or you can kind of create the look just by doing what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna add this two piece hair clip right at the bottom. And I actually do have a hair clip in tutorial for curly hair and straight hair up on my channel and I will put the link below. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep putting all of these pieces in my hair, um, taking the comb, separating my hair and just clipping it in. This is the four piece. make sure everything is hidden and you kind of want to like shake your head that's how I kind of put in all of my extensions because you want to make sure they're all kind of blended and make sure they're in the right place like you don't want to have like all the extensions on one side or else you'll look like a lopsided um, crazy person so there's this one this is another three clip so I'm gonna put that all up in here as well and I just kind of like find a place where there's like a space and I just kind of put it in because I put in so many extensions it's crazy see I just clipped them all in my hair go ahead and put this last four clip piece in The 
last piece is hard because there's not much space in my head. And now my hair is big.